Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about a tool you can use to manage multiple Linux or I guess any Unix servers um, using SSH. And what this does is this allows you to have uh, one input for SSH and have it sent to multiple SSH sessions. So the software I'm talking about is called Cluster SSH. And this should work on Mac and Linux. I'm not sure on Windows how it would be set up. But if you're doing it on a Mac, um, the way I'm doing it, you'll need Mac ports installed. And I'll put a link in the description of that. And you'll also need X ports installed. And I'll put a link down below to that too. So um, I'm at the terminal right now. And once you have Mac ports installed, let me open, make this bigger. You can type sudo space port space install space and then cluster ssh. And that will install it. I already have it installed though. So I'll clear my screen here. So what I have uh, for this tutorial is I have three Ubuntu servers on uh, three different IP addresses. They all have open SSH on them. So I'm going to paste in a command here and I'll go over it here. So we have uh, cluster SSH installed and and if you want to see all the commands for cluster SSH you can type C SSH and then dash dash help and that will show you all the help for it. But um, for this one, I'm just doing basics. So we have CSSH for cluster SSH space dash L, and that's the login we're gonna use, and I have Rick, and then I have space, and then I have the three IP addresses of the Linux machines that I want to access. So I'll hit enter here, and this should boot up uh, X quartz. This can take a minute, there we go. And what that's doing is that's uh, opening up our three terminals, we have uh, 192.168.7.150, 181, and this one is 187. And this is the first time I've logged into each of these, and it wants to um, me to confirm the uh, fingerprint. So you'll see this other little screen down here, and it has a box on it. So what I can do is I can type in yes here, and you'll see it's typing it in on all three terminals. And then it's going to ask for my password. So I'll type that in, and it's logging into all three machines at the same time. So this is a machine you can use to administer three Linux machines, and probably needless to say, you could use this tool also to screw up three machines very badly. So you want to be careful when you're using an automated tool like this. And I have three here, but imagine you had like 12 or so. Now just be forewarned, if you're using a tool like this, you can screw things up pretty easily. So um, everything I type down here in um, this screen will go on the three terminals. I can also click on the three terminals. I can say clear this one. I can also go in here and say clear, and it'll clear all three at the same time. So now I want to set up my proxy on all three of these. So I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash apt forward slash apt, I'll hit tab and it's apt.conf.d. So tab completion works here. I'll type 00 apt proxy. I'll hit enter here. It'll ask for my password. And now we're opened up in nano on three different machines. So let me get my configuration pulled up here. I need to paste this in. So if I click in here, I don't know if command line paste works, but I think I can go up here to edit. No, that doesn't work. I'll have to type that in. There may be a way to get copy and paste working here. I'm not real sure. So I'll type in acquire, oops. And I just had it, when I tried to paste it, put a weird character in there. But I'll type acquire, and I'll type colon colon HTTP colon colon proxy space HTTP colon slash slash, and then my IP address of my proxy server, and then colon 3142, quote, uh, semicolon. I'll check that real quick. Looks good. I'll hit enter. I'll type control O to save, control X to exit. So now I've uh, entered in proxy information on three servers at once. And now something you're more likely to do probably would be to upgrade these servers. So I can type sudo space apt space update. And this will update all three servers at the same time. 
And these are all virtual machines on the same host, and they're actually running, looks like about the same speed, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so that's done running on all three. So now I can type sudo space apt upgrade. I'll hit enter here. And now we're upgrading all three servers at the same time. So we have the, uh, it's going to say, do you want to continue? I'll just say yes on all these. So you could see um, these are all brand new machines, nothing on them. But if you had three different servers with different packages on them, you know, they could end at different times. So uh, they may not line up correctly when you're trying to configure all three at the same time. But if you have certain parts, um, you can, you know, go into individual servers and do individual tasks and you can do tasks that are shared. So other things you could do is you could check your disk size, um, see how much uh, space you have left on the disks. So you could type df um, da space dash h and that would show you, um, you know, your disk information. There's all sorts of things like that you could do. And using this tool, you can do it on multiple servers at once and it would hopefully, you know, save you time. So, so that's all for this video. This is gonna take a little while to update. I'm not gonna make you watch all that. But um, this is the basic usage of cluster SSH. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.